Hey guys, welcome back to another redstone tutorial. Today we are looking at bubble elevators. These are your standard bubble elevators. I'm going to take a look at the two different models I've got here, as well as another model I've got over there that I'm going to show you how to make first. Before I do that, if you enjoy the video, please leave me a big fat thumbs up. And as always, please consider subscribing. Well, let's go. Okay, so you all know bubble elevators. They are pretty much straightforward. You go up in them and uh, you can go, you can go down in them. So there's a few different designs here. This one here is the one where you have them next to each other. You can go up, you can go down. They're quite easy to work. And then you've got the one over here where you have two separate conduits where you can go up in one and then down in the other. Uh, they're both great. If you like things to be non-redstone-y. But I like things to be redstone-y. So let's uh, have a look at a design of making it so that you can go in and out the same conduit. Is conduit the right word for this? I'm not sure. Uh, let me know in the comments if I, there's another word. Uh, so what we're going to do is you stand on the pressure plate, it sends you up, and then you can come down the same water elevator and out. I absolutely love this design. It is amazing. And what's more is it's so simple to do. So we're going to build this today. I'm going to show you how. And then you can have this in your base as well. And yeah. I mean, water elevators are useful for all kinds of things. But this is the main one, right? Getting people up and down. Yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. Uh, let's take a look at how this one's built. Let's go. Oh, I broke it. <laughs> okay, so things you're going to need today. So you're going to need some blocks. I'm going for iron blocks today. Uh, you're also going to need some redstone. As always, this is a redstone tutorial after all. Uh, you're going to need a couple of comparators, some signposts. These are just to stop water uh, flowing. You'll notice I use them on all of the water elevators here. You need soul sand to make you go up. You need magma blocks to make you go down. You need sticky pistons to move stuff around. You need water buckets to... Oh, no, I... Oh, don't place water buckets. You need a, a target block. You're also going to need glass for the whole glass thing and a redstone torch for the back here, as you can see. Uh, all it is is a simple block changer here with a uh, pulse extender on the side. This is actually designed by the legend that is Mumbo Jumbo, and I'm going to show you how to make it. Let's go. So place down your pink wool block first, and then on that, you're going to put down a uh, redstone on top of that. Okay. Uh, and then in front of that two blocks, we're going to put down a sticky piston. And on that, we're going to put our soul stand. And then behind your soul stand back here, this is when you're going to need your target blocks. We're going to put that on the back of there. And then you're going to need a redstone torch on the back of there. Okay. And that should activate this on the front here. Now, we're getting pretty much close to uh, everything we need. So the next thing you're going to do is place a uh, magma block on top of this uh, soul sand block. And then we're going to place our piston. So I'm just going to put three like that. And then you're going to put one there extending out onto there. So the redstone to torch will make that one pop out. Okay. And that's your sort of block uh, extender sort of done. So we can get rid of our magma block now. And then we're going to need glass. So we're going to put a glass block here with redstone on top of it. And then you're going to put your iron blocks above that. Okay. Straightforward so far? I think so. So, so far we've made the block changer. That's really simple. Next, we're just going to put in our pulse extender, which we're going to use pink wool on the side here. So what you're going to do is put in six blocks like so. And then you are going to put in a comparator facing this way, a comparator facing that way. And then we're going to put in some pink wool on the corner with a redstone signal going into that block there. And then redstone across the front like this. Easy. That's pretty much it. Uh, all that's left really now is to put down a pressure plate on this block here. And then we're going to put glass around this block here. Like so. Oh, not that block. Okay. So 
once you've done that, you can just build it however tall you want. I'm going to do that tall. And then you're going to fill your water elevator. Oh, you need a signpost on that one. You don't need it on the bottom one because of the pressure plate. But you're going to need a signpost on the top. Then you're going to fill your uh, water elevator with water. So I'm just going to do it from above. Uh, the simplest way to do this in survival, by the way, is to make it with a water block at the top. Make it go down, then put kelp all the way up. And that should make all of the blocks into water blocks. Okay, so you've made your water elevator now, and in theory, if you stand on this block, it'll make you go up. I missed a water block. So, and then it'll change back to the magma, and then that's it. Of course, now world height goes from a huge 320 down to minus 64. So it's a massive distance you can have water elevators now. So you might need a really big one. And I've got a solution for that as well. All you need is a bigger pulse extender. So this one, well, it will just stay like this for ages. And it can go on and on and on. So all I've done there is added more comparators going this way and more comparators going that way. Just to extend out that pulse even further. So you can go even longer, which means you can make your water elevators even bigger. So now you might be able to have one all the way up to 320 using the same method. I haven't tested that, though, so probably give it a go. Let me know in the comments if you do ever give a go with that. And uh, as always, if you've enjoyed the video today, please consider subscribing. Thanks. Bye.